News 4 Jax and Consumer Reports, working together to save your family money. Well, no one expects to get sick and have to pay medical bills. One usually arrives after a medical emergency where you find out that your insurance won't pay because a medical provider was out of network. While, Cron while Congress is finally helping, Consumer Reports warns something important was left out of a new law. Consumer investigator Lauren Verno tells us why you could still be stuck paying thousands of dollars and how to fight it. Last March, Consumer Reports writer Donna Rosado found herself in a serious health emergency. She had a fever and a cough, and after going to her local ER, was rushed to a larger hospital by ambulance. I had a cough that wouldn't go away and a fever that spiked to 103. So I went to the emergency room where I suddenly became unable to breathe. I was put on a ventilator for 10 days, and I spent a few weeks in an ICU where I slowly recovered from the flu and pneumonia. When Donna finally was allowed to go home, she was greeted with a pile of medical bills. It might be surprising to learn that the biggest bill she owed was for the ambulance ride, which was not covered by her insurance company. And she is not alone. A recent study found more than three out of four ground ambulance rides could result in an out-of-network bill. And those bills are likely not going away anytime soon. They are now part of new legislation called the No Surprises Act, aimed at eliminating surprise medical bills that can arise from out-of-network providers, often in emergencies. If we're protecting patients from surprise bills once they get to the emergency room, why not protect them from the surprise bill on the way to the emergency room? Consumer Reports says ambulance providers and insurers often disagree on what is a fair rate for this essential life-saving service. Ambulance companies say they provide costly, labor-intensive services and insurance reimbursements are too low for them to be in network. That means patients like Donna are often left footing a hefty bill, but there are some ways to fight back. A few states like Ohio, New York, Colorado, and Maryland have passed laws against surprise medical bills that include restrictions on ground ambulances. Also, ask your insurer to review the claim. If it's still not covered, contact the ambulance company and ask if they can lower the charge or offer a payment plan. Talking to my insurer did the trick for me. A few weeks after I contacted my insurer and asked them to review the bill again, I got a notice that they paid the ambulance provider an additional $1,500 covering all but $283 of the original $3,000 bill. The No Surprises Act will go into effect January 2022, but Consumer Reports says there is still hope that in the future, Congress and state legislators will enact protections from surprise ground ambulance bills too. I'm Consumer Investigator Lauren Verno, Channel 4, The Local Station.